We broke this story that's coming out now out of Georgia, racketeering charges on the president, uh, you know, for President Trump. I, I think that a lot of these charges, they're starting to roll together. They're starting to gel together, I think, in the voter's mind. You're running on a campaign right now. Uh, let me ask you this, though. We, we've got the, the judge, the judicial, I should say, schedule for President Trump's trial during the primaries of 2024. Uh, what effect do you think it would have, and, and maybe not even so much for your campaign, but just on the country, if we could actually see a former president of the United States on trial, potentially even going to jail in the middle of a primary? I think it would be disastrous, Jack. And, and I'm just going to be really direct with you, right? I am running to be our next president. I believe that we will be successful. It's why I'm in this race. Many people think the other FAQ that I often get from people is, do you have some backroom deal with Trump? No, we like each other. We're friends. We respect each other. But I'm running to be the next president. And it would be a lot easier for me if Trump were eliminated from competition by the federal administrative state, which quietly I think a lot of other Republican candidates are indeed rooting for, as is the donor class. I think it would be a national disaster for this country if that happened. The one that I think is potentially most dangerous of all, Jack, is actually the supposed, we'll see if it comes, the January 6th related indictment, because that one implicates Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which mentions the yes. word insurrection or rebellion, which can actually eliminate someone from running or even being removed from office. We saw that happen to a county commissioner in the state of New Mexico, which I think is jarring and alarming. And if anybody doubts, you know, a lot of people don't follow politics. What I explain to even a lot of my friends who are outside of politics and say, well, you know, I'm sure he did something wrong, right? I say, think about it the other way around. The fact that there are all of these prosecutions happening at the exact same time, right as he's running for president, on strained legal theories that have never once been used before, what does that tell you? It has nothing to do with the law. It has to do with an anaphylactic immune response against an antigen in the form of Trump that threatened the system. Okay, and I think that once you see it that way, it's hard to unsee it, even if you're not in the world of politics. I've been able to actually get a lot of my friends to open their eyes who aren't in the world of politics to understand the injustice of this. And I think it's bad for our country. The example we set for the rest of the world is we are that shining city on a hill, or at least we're supposed to be. The way we lead the world, the way we contribute to the rest of the world is that when America is strong and prosperous and healthy at home, that sets an example to the free world abroad. Imagine if you have a lead candidate in an election, even in this primary, battling charges in jail or at trial. That undermines global trust in America as the leader. It undermines the trust of our own citizens in our own process. And it's a disastrous precedent which is why I've said in no uncertain terms that if I'm elected president, we have a long list on day one of people who get pardons. Julian Assange is on that list. Ross Ulbricht is on that list. Peaceful January 6th protesters, as well as any January 6th protester who had due process rights denied are on that list. But President Trump is also absolutely on that list. And that includes, by the way, the New York charges, which people say that's a state charge. No, that invokes a federal law. So there's legal precedent for that being a pardon as well. That's why I've been crystal clear about it, Jack. What about uh, what about Snowden? Where are you in Snowden? I would pardon Snowden. He's also on the list that we okay. published. OK, I mean, I, I think if you're going to hold us any type of of understanding or a truth commission or on these national security agencies and what they've been doing in terms of spot domestic surveillance. You, you're going to need Assange and Snowden to testify. Uh, I've, yes. I've long stated that uh, you know what you 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 know you don't make it a, a an unconditional pardon. You make a deal. You say let's come forward. You give us what you know. Assange as well, by the way, give us what you know and you can. And then guess what? Then you get your pardon. It's as simple as that. I mean, these things should you're, be you're you're stealing my lines. I'm in a good way. I'm compliment. I, I, that's exactly what I've said is actually we have to look after the American interest. And that's what we get out of this as Americans is information, transparency, and accountability.